George Orwell had some really useful and practical writing rules that I think any writer could put to good use. His most famous work was probably his dystopian classic 1984, but whatever he wrote, he wrote it with fearlessness and a biting critical eye on society. Here's some of those writing rules. Never use a metaphor, simile, or other figure of speech which you are used to seeing in print. That makes sense. You might think that a phrase that a reader's seen a million times might just float under the radar and it won't be noticed because it's not disruptive and it's not off-putting. And to some extent, that might be true. But to me, whenever I read a phrase like that, it makes me start assessing the writing instead of enjoying the story. That could just be a writer thing. After all, we think about how stories are written way more than the average reader would. But as I said, anything that makes me think about the writing process as opposed to the actual story tends to be a bit of an immersion killer. To counter that, one practical thing that I like to do is to reject the first simile or metaphor that comes to mind. Not only does that help to make my writing less predictable, at least I hope so, but it also slows me down and gives me more time to think and more thought often leads to a better phrase. Not always, but most of the time. Never use a long word where a short one will do. I agree with this and I think it's worth following. I think Orwell's intention for this rule was to create simplicity and maximize meaning in what he was writing. Telling a story is communication. So as writers, it's up to us to make our stories as easy to understand and easy to read as possible. That works to our advantage too, because readers don't often give up on a story because it's too easy to read, but they might give up on a story if it's too difficult. Never use long words, ever. Got it. That's not what I said. Yep, it was. If it's possible to cut a word out, always cut it out. Like the last tip, it's all about clarity and prioritizing meaning over phrasing. Beautiful and complex writing absolutely has value, but it's just not always the best way to tell a story. If you cut unnecessary words, your sentences will have more impact, they'll read a little bit quicker, and they'll probably feel a little more interesting too. But for the first draft of anything, I'd say write what you want and focus on the meaning of it. Then you can worry about cutting and simplifying in editing. Why use lot word when few word do trick? Yeah, you probably want to leave a few more in. Never use the passive where you can use the active. Very common advice, but for very good reason. The passive voice creates distance for your readers and it's a barrier to their immersion. It reminds them that they're reading a story, and so it should be avoided. When you first start out with writing, the passive voice can feel like a safety net of sorts. It feels less forthright and a little bit quieter, kind of like you're mumbling your story. But really, every story is better told in a clear, loud voice, so have confidence, be direct and active. Never use a foreign phrase, a scientific word, or a jargon word if you can think of an everyday English equivalent. I generally agree with this one, especially when we're talking about simplicity. It's better to use everyday language where you can. However, I'm not exactly sure I'd say never. No, I, I am sure. I'd never say never in this case. My main worry is dialogue. People speak differently, so there needs to be a difference in how people sound. If you had a scientist character, for example, I'd expect her to use scientific terms. You don't want to end up with every single character sounding exactly the same because it's boring and it isn't believable. For me, this tip's definitely one to be aware of, just not necessarily one to follow all the time. Well, that's not confusing at all. Hang on, wait for the next tip and listen to it. Break any of these rules sooner than say anything outright barbarous. This is the big secret, no rule is ever really a rule. If you followed all these rules all the time, it would be difficult to write anything, never mind anything good. Better to break a couple of rules and come out with a story than to follow all of them and come out with nothing. Some of the best works of art are created when the rules are broken. I think it's just about finding balance so that what you write still has meaning and depth to your readers. And if you wanna know more about how to create depth in your stories, watch this video next.